In this video I want to have a look at the Turbo Pack and how can you upgrade and start using Turbo Pack today together with the next uh, JS. So what is Turbo Pack? It was released uh, on the same date as the next uh, JS 13. Next.js is a React framework and Turbo Pack is a kind of a successor to a Webpack, meaning it's a sort of a bundler that you can use for your builds and uh, for your styles kind of to sort them. And um, right now Turbo Pack is in alpha and uh, I have a here a small project that is uh, basically running on Next.js 13 and it's using still uh, as far as I know Webpack under the hood and I want to migrate it to the Turbo Pack and start using Turbo Pack uh, today. Uh, so let's have a look how we can do that. Um, let's create a branch first. Name it Turbo Pack. Um, then uh, what do we need to do? The first thing I saw in the docs you can add to the dev script uh, minus minus turbo and save it and let's try to serve that npm run dev and as you can see we are using turbo pack already by specifying like minus minus turbo and um, did uh, let's first try to load our application as you can see an app is loaded but we kind of don't have a good way to serve uh, tailwind styles why is that uh, because as you can see here turbo pack already detected a few things that we are having here so we use tailwind basically probably detected by uh, scanning the files and seeing tailwind.config.js uh, and um, to sub it's currently is not supported out of the box um, but for as a workaround we can for example go here and uh, check how can we make it work so my goal is like I want to that I want that my small application would be served with turbo pack as a successor to the yeah webpack it's written in rust by the way so it's super su supposed to be super fast and um, I want also tailwind work in with this turbo pack combination and in docs they have here um, a few build scripts or rather workaround how we can solve that so we need to install concurrently package which basically would uh, run your npm scripts kind of uh, in parallel so let's do that npi save dev concurrently and um, to be able to serve our and like kind of and compile our styles and sort the tailwind stuff together with the next.js output kind of bundle we need to make a few changes here to the our uh, dev script so we need to say concurrently run this part this would be first part of our um, script and then we say also tailwind and we need to provide let me check turbo yep okay and for that we need to also provide for tailwind css we need to provide input file and the output output file where our css would be so an input file would be just uh, styles dot tailwind dot css this is the folder here which we have an output file I would say should be the same let's say in styles folder but we will name it dist CSS and uh, we will have watch flag so it will be watching all the changes to our styles and uh, render them respectively um, let's try running that As you can see the dist file was generated this is our css dist file and let's have a look at the application um, currently there are no changes um, that's because we need to also consume that in our uh, layout and we can go here and change it to dist css and as you can see right now our application picked up changes and is working meaning it's serving uh, 
all of these two scripts well and it's serving our new uh, CSS. Let's go and try to change get started a button, color of it and uh, let's see if uh, they update kind of real time. I change it to green. I don't know why in Firefox I have to reload the page that uh, changes to be picked up but uh, in Chrome for example it works just fine out of the box. Uh, let me go and show it to you in Chrome and let's say I want my color button would be off orange now. Yeah as you can see it's kind of force refresh and the uh, color of the button is updated. Um, yeah so it's great it's all you need to do kind of to serve your uh, CSS with Tailwind changes all together with building uh, using TurboPack. But we also need to modify a build script. And um, for that, I actually have a comment here. I can show you a bit um, just to save some typing. So it's uh, kind of the same, we specify our minus i, it's where our input leaves, we specify where our output and then we run a uh, next build. Let's try if the build works as it was previously, npm run, npm run build. Yep, so the build command works and uh, we can then serve our build via npm start. And if I go to the localhost 3000, you can see the build was served with our button color changed. So the build works and it's great. Um, one thing we can improve here is that we often kind of this is a long command that we use and we can simply maybe move it to uh, another command, uh, another npm script and name it, let's say, tailwind. And so then we can use it uh, here, npm run uh, tailwind. If I run, if I wrote it correctly, let me check. So yeah, it's between this um, parentheses. And PRM run a tailwind. So these two commands would be run in parallel. And uh, here we add another npm script which would be called Tainwind and it has watch. So this is kind of it's a bit more readable this way. And let's try and see if that still works. Run dev. And uh, yeah, our application is working and our input is serving together with the styles updates. Let's change it again just to test green, refresh and it's green. Okay, so everything is working and uh, this is all you need to be able to use Turbo Pack already, uh, but be aware it's in alpha, it's not even in beta, so use it uh, at your own risk. And it's probably, they say it's not ready for production, but for development you can start a, and use it today. And uh, I will link a uh, branch and the source code with this migration and hope you have fun and enjoy using the turbo pack today with tailwind thanks